part two of breaking down our ego, right? So the parent ego state is another one of our ego states. And this is all about behaviors, thoughts, and feelings copied from our parent or parental figures in our lives. Like as kids, we absorb everything that we see and hear from our parents, right? Especially in those first five years of life and we don't filter those out. We just absorb them all like a sponge, right? So how does the parent ego manifest? Again, there's always a spectrum here, right? On one end, it can be very nurturing and affectionate. It's tolerant and helpful and it's that warm, unselfish side, right? But on the opposite end, it can come across as bossy and demanding, fault-finding, prejudiced. It's very rigid, right? And it's almost forceful and very intolerant. When you're working on this, think back to the tone of voice that you were spoken to in your childhood. Was it harsh? Was it abrupt? Was it authoritarian? Or was it soothing and consoling? Think about body language, arms crossed, finger pointing, or would somebody get down on your level and speak to you, you know, with compassion and kindness. These are different ways to start looking at things. So again, like we talked about in the first part of this, it's not about eradicating your ego. It's not about slaying it. It's about finding the balance, but you can't find balance until you become aware and really go you know, deep within yourself to examine all of those parts of yourself. If you're a parent, how are you operating as a parent? Again, go to the parent ego state, the things we just listed. What end of the spectrum are you operating in currently? Start there, bring awareness to it, and then decide where you think you need to make changes. Love you guys.